On Liverpool's waterfront, as far as the eye could see, the colleagues of PC Dave Phillips marched in his honour. Led by the Pipes and Drums Band of the Police Service of Northern Ireland, they were silent. So too were those who stopped to pay their respects. At Merseyside Police Headquarters, staff came out to remember a fallen officer. But Officer Number 6554 was a father and husband. So at the front of this long procession, his wife Jen and two daughters. Three-year-old Sophie was carried by her aunt, Abigail Seven, walking alongside. They called their daddy a hero. Now they know how many agree. The service running late as so many filled Liverpool Cathedral. PC Phillips' sister described her brother as a force for good. I knew him every day of my life and I never stopped to consider how wonderful he really was. I wish I told him how much I looked up to him, how much I tried to emulate him, how his constant immovable presence in my life has held me together when otherwise I'd have flown apart. He would never boast or brag or place himself above others, preferring instead a quiet, self-deprecating humour. But I will proudly claim that title for him, for no man embodied the spirit of a true hero more. His friend and colleague recalled what they would talk about during quiet moments. He wanted a shed for his tools to improve his DIY. I wanted a shed for a nap. But that's all we wanted. And that's all any of us want. We're all human. We just want a shed. Well, Dave, I'm going to get my shed. And I intend to get a little disco ball, which I'm going to put up there. And remember you. Have a good nap. <laughs> Today, Liverpool remembered an unassuming Bobby, a father and husband taken too soon. Duncan Golastani, ITV News.